QT here, back with another video. Just want to talk to you all real quick about Halloween, horror movies, um, parties. Do you do any of that stuff? Do you go to Halloween parties? Um, do you watch horror movies? And what's your thing? You know, I'm not necessarily a horror movie fan. Um, it's not my go-to. I've seen a few. You know, I've seen a few. But the last one I saw in theater was um, The Conjuring. And I only saw that because... I'm talking about The Conjuring, the first one. And I only saw that because the supervisor, we got off from work one day and she was like, hey, I'm gonna treat everybody to a movie. So let's go, I'm gonna see The Conjuring. So she took us all, she treated us. And man, I really can't, really can't deal with those movies. I watched it, it was fine. It's that Annabelle, that, that Tom or whatever. I watched it, but then me and another coworker, we came back both with like the same experience. Like, yo man, I, like me, I was seeing like mist over the bed and just, it was just crazy, so I don't really do the horror movie thing. And back in the days, it was like Freddy Krueger and all of them. Like that was the, in the '80s, you know. I've uh, seen those, the Nightmare on Elm Streets. Those were pretty. Those were pretty scary, you know. You know, growing up or whatever, you know, because that Freddy Krueger, you know, he's bad. He get in your dreams, so they make you not want to go to sleep. So you know, but like as of late in these past, you know, few years, whatever, on year, or five, ten to fifteen years, I don't really, I don't really do the horror thing. As far as movies I own, I do have Saw 1 and 2. I like those, because those are not necessarily, to me, they're not real like horror movie, horror movies. Those are more, it's almost like a detective story. And I do like the first Saw, it's pretty dope. I like that it had a minimum budget and they were able to make what they made with it. So I appreciate it for that, um, for the production value. It was pretty, pretty dope. So, so like I said, Saw 1 and 2, the other ones were kind of corny. I checked on them. I really didn't see like the later, later ones. It seemed, I was like, hey, I'm done. That was cool. And then um, the others, it's an older movie, uh, Nicole Kidman. She's in there. It's like uh, these like spears, kind of like ghosts. But it's real dope though. I, I I could deal with that. I could deal with that movie anyway. But some of the other ones I don't really, um, I can't really rock with. What else was cool? Um, yeah, there's a bunch of them that I didn't see. Like a lot of the later stuff, like it. I haven't seen the latest it, but somebody told me it's good. I don't tell. Like I said I don't go out of my way to watch them. I gotta, you know, be in some kind of mood to really watch them, which that don't really come that often because it ain't my genre. But um, yeah, I just want to talk to y'all about like Halloween and stuff. And do you do parties or anything, y'all? And y'all can dress up, any of that kind of stuff. Um, it was some years ago since I went with those uh, co-workers again. They all went out to Westgate. And um, did a little Halloween thing. I just had like a little small little costume, nothing crazy. Just went and chilled out. But I typically don't do a lot of Halloween stuff. What about you? You guys into it? And um, other horror movies. This ain't necessarily horror that I think is dope. Is um, Silence of the Lambs. That whole that whole series. Like I like the Hannibal Lecter uh, movies. Those are cool. Not like I said, not horror movies to me. I mean, he's a crazy, he's a killer, but not necessarily horror movies. Like it ain't like the blood and the gore. A little bit of gore in there, but not it's not overwhelming. Not overwhelming. So I would say you about that. Um what else is coming up? So a lot of people, I know a couple co-workers mentioned um these haunted houses they do. And those I don't I've done one some years ago. They're kinda of expensive. It's like they have thirty five, forty dollars to get in these things. They have like different floors and stuff. You know, if they go, I might consider going. I don't know. I ain't sure. I gotta see what I, what I got going and where they're gonna go. So, um, yeah. So that's about it, man. Just wondering how y'all do the Halloween thing. If you're into it or not. Like I was watching some. They were talking about how we all know now it's turning to it's like an adult holiday now. It's more you know adults dressing up. The kids do also, but it's a lot of um, adults doing their thing with the um, holiday, a lot of adult parties. Plus, the adults got the money. They want to spend the money on the costumes. And then they got that spirit Halloween store where you can go and buy, you know, your costume, your makeup, all that stuff, whatever you're going to do. But, um, yeah, I typically don't mess with it. You know, some guys, you know, I look at people's costumes or whatever, but I don't, really, I don't really mess with it that much. And those horror movies, I, yeah, that ain't really my lane. One movie that I thought was dope, a lot of people don't like, was The Village. Have you ever saw The Village? It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. It came out some years ago. Some people don't like it. I ran into a lot of people that don't like it, and I ran into people that do like it. So, um, if you ever get a chance, watch The Village. It's not necessarily a horror movie. You know, it got a little, little scary little part, but it's not necessarily a horror movie. It's, um, 
a character in there they try to use to scare their people. But um, it's not it's not horrible. It's not a horrible movie. Got this truck next to me. I don't like being next to trucks. Um, what else I see? Uh, Paranormal Activity. When it first came out, I saw that years ago. That wasn't to me. That wasn't nothing. I watched it. it wasn't no big deal. I wasn't even wasn't even remotely scared of that. Like that wasn't nothing to me really. Back in the days, the Blair Witch Project was a big deal. Um, that that had a lot of people scared or whatever. Um, and I like the way they did that movie too. Um, just with this story, it was all all made up, but they used this um, VHS footage, so that was dope. I like that. I like that idea for a movie. But yeah, other than that, man, um, just wondering about Halloween and horror movies and all that stuff. And do you watch it? And I grew up in the '80s, and I remember we used to go um, trick or treating. We did go out. Man, you get so much candy. It was crazy. Like and that old urban legend. I think it's an urban legend about razor blades and apples and all this crazy stuff. So that was that time period. But when we would get candy, eating the fruit and all, anything homemade, you never really wanted that from people. Like, you never really, them, with the, with they, they make candy apples and um, those popcorn balls, you used to get those and any kind of fruit, any of that. Like, that's, that's like, nah. Nah, we only wanted the stuff that was, you know, packaged up or whatever. So that was that was the way we played. You really didn't mess with anything that was, wasn't packaged up. But yeah, we used to go out, man, like a group of us. Put your costume on, your mask, whatever, go. Knocking on doors, it's just kind of crazy. You think about it. But yeah, Halloween's been around for a long time. It's like a couple thousand, like maybe a thousand years old now. Like, started in Europe. So it's, um, yeah, it's old. It's an old holiday. So, but yeah. So I just wanted to see what y'all thought. I'm trying to think of any more uh, horror movies that I didn't see. Because there's a lot of them that I didn't see. Like, <laughs> I just don't think my, my genre, really. So, I think I saw John Carpenter's Halloween years ago. I think I saw that years ago. I watched that. Um, and they got like, Children of Corn. Oh, there's a bunch of them out there. It, I think I saw the first, it, the, old, the first one, the original. I didn't see the new one, though. But I admit it. I may check that out somebody recommended it say it's pretty good but i'll see and if i'm watching it and it's too much i turn it off <laughs> ain't no thing i turn it down i turn it off just say i'm done there was these movies that came out i forget what they were called um uh i forget but it was like death was chasing these people if you remember that movie drop it in the comments it's like they're going through their life but death is after them like they're like plane crashes all kind of stuff i forget what it was called though um those are pretty good. I think they made like two or three of those. Those were okay, but they weren't like I said, horror, horror movies, like with like a like a slasher or nothing. But they were cool. So yeah, man, just wanted to uh, drop a quick video on you about Halloween, which is coming up. A lot of people doing their thing. And we're getting ready for it, man. A lot of it's popular, man. I'm talking to some people, and everybody's like, yeah, they you know decorating their houses and you know doing stuff. I'm like, man, people are serious about it. It's always been there. I think it's always been that way. You see houses, you know, with the lights and stuff in the yard and this and that, but just wonder, just wonder what y'all thought on it. Just want to share my dialogue on it, especially those horror movies. Another movie that's crazy if you never watched is, um, that I, I have this movie. It's called The Fourth Kind. It's like an alien movie, but it's based on, based on true accounts. They got all these phone calls and some footage. It came out in theaters some years ago. Yeah, if you ever get a chance, and if you like the alien movies, watch The Fourth Kind. Um, it's just a creepy movie. It ain't scary. It's just creepy. A little creepy. Some of y'all might, it might not be nothing for y'all. might not be nothing for y'all, but for me, I thought it was kind of creepy. Since I don't do those type of things. But I do own that one because I do like the, the alien genre type movies. Like, the, you know, another one that's good. Fire in the Sky is pretty good. That's an alien movie based on a true story. Based on true stories, so Fire in the Sky is good if you get a chance to watch that. So, just my take on the on the on the deal. Just wanted to come on real quick. All right, y'all. More to come. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, this weekend is the Big Daddy Kane Harris One um, battle, the versus. So that's Sunday night. I'll be checking that out. I'll definitely be tuned in and see how it go. And I'll do a little recap on it. Come back on and talk about it. See what I thought. So, alright y'all, get with you later. Alright, peace.